So today what we're going to talk about is what's called a potentiometer. And a potentiometer uh, looks like this. It's actually technically called a variable resistor. And variable resistors are interesting because they can be used as sensors and inputs of different kinds. This one has a uh, twisting knob on it so that you can change the resistance of it. Um, and resistance is really just how much you let go through a wire, how much voltage or current you let go through a wire. This thing changes that. And then from that signal, you can get different information from it. So if you ever see a wiring diagram of it, a variable resistor generally looks something like this. You've got typical resistor symbol, and then you've got like an arrow coming along this. And this is meant to denote basically sliding along here, because if you have a resistor, you can imagine it kind of as a long wire or some kind of resistor. You've got output right here, input right here, and then you've got, well, this uh, slider along it, we'll call that a little bar right there, that rolls along this. And as you roll along this, this direction, say from here to there, and the stuff, current and voltage is coming in from this direction, if you slide it from this direction over to here, then you've basically increased the resistance because there's more or less more material between it. That's basically the fundamental concept there. You increase the resistance by moving up here, and then you decrease it by moving it down here. So in the case of this potentiometer, you can imagine the resistor as being around uh, the circumference of it, like this. And then you're moving the slider around it like this. And that's basically what is happening. That's how a resistor works. So as I twist this knob, I increase the resistance. As I twist it back, I decrease the resistance. The way you wire one of these up is you have these three pins. You've got the first one, which is positive or negative. You've got the second one, which is positive or negative. With resistors, it doesn't matter. And then you've basically got the output signal right here. So looking at this diagram, this would be the center pin. And then these two can be either or uh, one of these sides. And that's, that's total preference, maybe how you set it up or just how you feel that day, which one you want to use for positive and which one you want to use for uh, ground. Um, but the center one is always the output signal, basically, the resistance output signal. So that is how a potentiometer works.